Hello YouTube. So I wanted to post my updated video. If you hear that stomping, it's my son. Um, we just, I've been so busy. Um, we've been tearing out this, um, the carpet and, and there was a, so I'm in a sunroom. It used to be a, a porch and then it was converted to, well, well I call it a sunroom, but it was a waiting room because where I live used to be um, partially a, a doctor's office and um, so I wanted to turn it back into a, uh, a living space instead of having a porch with a bathroom on it um, and it had carpet, this old like commercial grade carpet so I've been busy just tearing the whole thing out and I'll show you. Here I'll just turn this around. Look out buddy. So see it is just tore up but my son is really uh enjoying the um the new floor he likes the sound it's making so let me get this situated okay so i got the camera figured out um so anyway i want to do my updated video for um my floss tube so hopefully his stomping isn't too loud but anyway we'll make do um so i have a couple new things to show you um I keep picking up new projects. First, I want to discuss my failed attempt for the month. I had set out some goals for stitching goals for everything that I've been working on, and um, I met them all for the most part, except um, one, which was my uh, my nativity. So I'm going to do that one first because um, in my journal I had talked about getting, I think. 25 no 3,000 stitches 3,000 stitches done on the nativity and I just lost momentum on that project um, I don't really like the pattern um, so I don't know I'll keep I'll keep trying with it it's just all so very dark and the colors they, they all just kind of blend together they don't really stand out from each other so I don't know if it's the right pattern but anyway so this is all I've done it's not much different than where I was before I just kind of filled in some spots um, with um, a different blue some some black and some blue but it doesn't look a whole lot different so I try to commit more to this this month and I think what I'm going to do, because now I have so much started, I'm going to just try to do 50 stitches a day on everything. Because I want to work on everything, um, which doesn't mean I'm going to do every single project every day, 50 stitches. But I thought maybe if I just commit to 50 stitches a day, which is like 1,500 stitches a month, that I'll try to get all that done for everything that I have. Um, because some of them, like the... Uh, my Don't Starve Together piece, I had 4,500 as my goal, and it was a lot. Um, I did meet it, though. So let me get that one out. I've been working a lot on the face, and I'm going to try to put pictures up of where it was before and what I'm working on just to kind of show you my progress. Um, I, I try to do that every, every month. But anyway, so this is where I'm at now. And um, I've been trying to work a lot. This is to, this is Wicker Bottom, is the character's name there. Yeah. I've been trying to work a lot on her face, just because I want to make sure that it looks okay. Um, since I'm using a pick to pat on this, uh, you know, I took a, an image and then made it into a pattern. I don't know how it's going to turn out because you know it's never been done before. So um, I wanted to see. And I'm I'm happy with it so far. I think she looks great compared to the um, to the original drawing. So I'm going to be uh, hoping to blend and work more on this. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I have to finish this, which is all confetti. So I'm not enjoying that. I'm, I'm doing a little bit at a time. And um, I'm hoping to just keep working down this area. I want to fill this whole space in. And then I'll move over to uh, another character. Um, Wilson is back here, so I'll do him, and then 
Weber is over here, which is another one of my favorites um, from the video game. So I'll be excited to fill them in, but Wicker Bottom's the best. And uh, she's old, and I think it's really cool that you have a, a main character that's an old spinster who is as powerful as she is in the video game. So props to the spinsters. Now I have my um, Legend of Zelda piece that I'm making for that little boy over there who keeps running around. Um, so this one is uh, stained glass and I told you before I, <laughs> in another video how I messed up the bottom of it um, and had to add a piece to the bottom because the, I cut the Ida cloth too short um, and I'm going to take off my grind guard so you can see it better. So uh, I've been trying to fill that in as much as I can. Um, so this is where I'm at now. I have to back it up now to show the whole thing. So here's the here's the whole length of the finished piece, top and bottom. This is all new. This is all new. Um, I just filled that all in. And then uh, I spent a lot of time filling this in more. There's still a couple little bits I have to do yet, but a lot of it's completed up in that corner there. Um, really liking the way that's turning out. So I'm very pleased with this. Um, it's always a pleasure to cross stitch. Um, this was another one I didn't use a pattern for. I used pick to pat, but I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. So um, again, I'm gonna try to shoot for 1500 stitches on this one. Um, I have a lot of projects right now, so it doesn't sound like a lot of stitches uh, per project, but they add up. So um, another one that I was working on is um, this sampler, the Clara Ellen um, Blackbird Design Sampler, uh, pattern number eight which I was making, I was going to turn into a housewarming gift for my brother. So I took a lot of liberties with this pattern. And um, it, it's um, because their name's longer, I, I wanted to put their name on here, their last name. Uh, I'll just show you. But anyway, my goal was to do these flowers, all these flowers at the bottom here and to put their name at the top, which I was able to complete. So, for whatever reason, it slides around in, in this um, Q-snap. So it looks crooked, but it's not. It's not crooked. It just looks crooked. But anyway, this is uh, where I'm at with this one. So, I was originally going to try to compress this long last name into this small section and um, I really I mean it wasn't gonna work even if I slid this over to the edge and moved this over here and I was gonna shift everything around and I thought well why don't I just make it wider you know it doesn't have to be a perfect square I don't know I hope I'm not committing any type of cardinal sin but that's what I decided to do so I'm gonna just add a little bit of extension here and here, make it a little wider so it's a little more rectangular just so that the name fits more nicely and that doesn't look like it's all squished in. So um, I'm pretty sure I'll have enough space for all that and, um, and we'll see how it looks. But my goal this month is to um, finish the pot at the bottom and um, that's my one of my dogs that's honey mustard oh, I have two uh, Boston Terriers and their names are chicken nugget and honey mustard I, I did not name them my son and daughter did my older son not this son and daughter but at least they match so um, we call her honey for short but she is um, she's a firecracker so anyway so my goal is to do the um, pot at the bottom and then to fill in these birds. I think I have this one done already, but I'm going to fill in these birds and then maybe to do some of the, the, the um, 
the border at the bottom here. So uh, that will be my goal for, um, for September. So yeah, I like the way it's turning out. I really enjoy doing samplers and, and non-full coverage stuff because it just seems to progress so much quick, more quickly and, and uh, it seems satisfying <laughs> to, to fill that space. Um, but I just can't cross stitch as much uh, as I want to um, because of everything going on with the home improvement. Um, I've been having a lot of stress lately. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> so anyway, I've been having a lot of issues with anxiety lately. I work in uh, nursing, and um, I'm a hospice nurse. So um, you know, I, I go out and and help families and patients who are dying, actively dying. Um, I go pronounce patients that have passed, um, and there's just, it's like the, the needs of the families never stop, and they're just constantly um, aware of everything you have to do even when you're not working, the next time you have to start working. So. That's stressful, and then in addition to that, I have um, my husband's been sick lately. Uh, he has Crohn's disease, and it's it's been acting up um, a lot more. So he's not able to help me as much around the house. He's been in bed a lot. Um, he's lost 20 pounds because he only has been drinking broth to try to recover. And he's really weak, um, so a lot of the burden of things that he usually does is, is on me now. So anyway, I digress. I just wish I had more time to cross stitch <laughs> because um, cross stitching and journaling are the few things that help me relax and cope. And then this guy, he is very jealous of the cross stitch um he gets very um i don't know how to say it let me stitch it he gets very um territorial like if i have if i have the frame in front of me and i'm stitching he'll he'll lay across me <laughs> um to to block me or if I pick him up and set him down beside me, he'll twist sideways and put his feet on the frame to try to keep me from stitching. So it seems like I can only really work on it when he's sleeping and still amazingly I get it done. But um, I think I'd be able to do a lot more if I had different circumstances. But I don't want to like give myself too high of goals and stress myself out. So. I'm keeping it simple this month, and that's why I'm just going to do 50, 50 a day, and I think I think I'll be able to manage that. But anyway, um, okay. So moving on, I have two new projects. I also signed up for a stitch along, which I've never done one of those before, but um, it looks kind of intriguing. So um, Caterpillar Creations is doing a stitch along called. Hello Deer, D-E-E-R, like the animal, and um, I signed up for that one. The reason I really like that one is because they show you the finished product and it's just blurred, so you can't really see what it is, but you get a sense of what it is, and I like that because I looked at some other stitch alongs and it's like you get a, a little piece of a pattern and you don't know if you're going to like the end result. I don't have the time to dedicate to a project like that and have it come out to be something that I don't like or would want to keep. Um, I really like the design style from this company and I like what their past 
uh, stitch alongs look like so I have a lot of um, high hopes that are like this one um, hopefully I'll find the time to do it hopefully things will settle down a little bit but um, that's gonna start the end of September so I won't have anything to share well I don't know <clears throat> I might have just the start to share with my next um, floss tube but um, that's the only thing that and maybe one other thing I'm gonna start um, and then that's it I'm done starting things and I'm just gonna work on what I have until um, I finish some stuff so anyway um, and actually I have to go I have to go get something okay you know the whole time I've been doing this video my phone has been texting 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 from work and I was already down there this morning get off I was already down there this morning even though I'm supposed to be off today for a meeting because they always schedule them during the week and I'm only work on the weekends so I don't really have an option and they like text 10 times all day long on my phone and <laughs> I can't get away from it so I don't know it just it, you, you can't ever turn it off and it just gets annoying too okay get down all right I had to go get this little guy I forgot him I didn't get him done I have wanted to complete him but I quickly amended that early in the month so I don't call it count this as a failure I knew he's gonna take longer than a month to complete so I just decided I wanted to do the leaves and the, the leaves in the top lip of the pot which I did complete um, so I'm hoping to do maybe half of this area uh, this month and then I'll finish it in October and get it framed and put on the wall so I had to run upstairs and grab him I do most of my stitching in bed so all of my stuff is upstairs and I bring it all down to do my filming okay so my two new starts um, since I liked samplers so much I wanted to do another sampler but I picked one mm, off of Etsy so it's um, a dragon sampler by two by two stitch art and I'll put a picture in because um, I'm recording on my phone so I can't show it to you right now but I'll pop a little picture in to show you it's um, a uniform color on the pattern but I want to try to do a bunch of different colors um, I'm gonna make it into a pillow for my youngest daughter who really loves dragons um, so I'm using a slightly stretchier linen and um, I wanted to use uh, a bunch of different colors so she wanted the two dragons in the image to be red and green so I got this um, multicolored floss um, from DMC because I wanted to try it out the, the multicolor ones you never get to use those in the normal patterns so I got one of those to try out on the border and uh, that's all I've done so far but I have been using the the multicolor on this border here and then just putting black in the middle and I don't know how that got wonky there it I, I think it's just the way it's stretched but if it doesn't fix itself I might frog the, the whole thing and redo it but other than that um, I think it's been looking pretty cool so I'm only gonna do the outside border in this more um, multicolored uh, floss and then do the band in black and then the inner things I'm gonna do in other stuff I don't know what yet um, but I don't want to overwhelm the piece with all these different colored stuff so I'll probably just stick to red and green type things since that's what the dragons are going to be but if anyone has any suggestions um, I'd love to hear them because I I worry that I'll make it too busy if I use too many different colors so that's the one and then I got another full coverage piece which my wonderful husband I <laughs> I was looking at this Etsy store um, wait, I wrote it down because I saw it on a, a Facebook um, group somebody was starting a different piece from the author um, the artist is uh, Chris Dunn and I just fell in love with his work 
um, Paying Free Crafts is the Etsy store is P-A-I-N-E. Um, so I was looking at all of his different art pieces, just, um, you know, like shopping, daydreaming about um, all the different work. And there was one I came across called Bedtime Story um, that I just fell in love with. And um, I thought, I don't have a reason to, to make this piece. I'm not going to dedicate the time to it because I don't have the reason to make it. And then my husband said, um, he saw me looking at it and he said, you know, I'd really like it if you would make that for me. And I know that he, he just said that because he knew I wanted to. <laughs> he knew I wanted to stitch it. And he was giving me a reason to, so that's how you know you're with somebody special. <laughs> um, but anyway, I so I got it. I've done 2,100 stitches on it, so that's where all my time went. Um, but I've really enjoyed it. And um, I've been trying to do the parking method again. I, I kind of tried it with my Don't Starve piece, and, and I didn't like it, and I tossed the, the idea aside. But there's a lot of the same colors repeating in this piece. Um, there's only maybe six to ten, I don't remember, colors with very little confetti um, in the area I'm working on. So I thought it would be ideal to do parking with. So I'm um, let me bring it down here, and I actually had to get it because it's on a uh, it's on a lap frame, which I've been trying to work with. Um, I don't like it as much as I thought I would, and I I can even show you why. So let me get that. I'm just gonna throw this stuff to the side, and I'm gonna move this back. So this is the piece. And this is all I've done so far. I don't know if you can even really see it. Maybe there is some uh, different colors, um, threads of color in there. Um, I think it's really neat. This is um, 25 count uh, Lugana. And this grid, I love it. I don't know why I haven't gridded everything. It's so much easier to keep track of where you're at. My goodness. So, I'll probably be doing... Um, I couldn't get any more of this, too, because I wanted it for another project, and, and it's all sold out <laughs> everywhere I looked. So, I'll probably do uh, a lot of my own gridding. I see people doing that. Um, but anyway, so, this is supposed to sit like this. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, so tell me if I'm doing it wrong, but anyway, so I have it here. Well, first of all, him, you know, he's already down here yanking this off of me. It's even harder in a bed. He just kicks at it all the time. I have a narrow space to begin with, and he's always kicking it off the side of the bed, and the whole thing just kind of collapses. And then I like to do two-handed, and um, a, lot, a lot of times... With my other, with my other pieces, um, geez, okay, so I will, um, hold it in my arm like this, and then I'll stitch two-handed. Alright, so I just, my whole phone fell. This tripod kind of sucks. Anyway, um, so I will, like, hold it in my arm and stitch kind of like this um, and use two handed stop I'm almost done and it's so hard to do that with this frame gosh <laughs> I'm going to have to censor out all the Okay, so this frame, when I'm trying to stitch on this and doing two-handed, this, I'm having a hard time because I like to have my right hand underneath and that doesn't work, which I can do the left hand, but then it's like, uh, maybe it's because it's up in the corner, but it's hard for me to find a way to 
comfortably do two-handed method with this frame. So I'm going to give it another month um, to see if I can find a way to make it work. And if not, I'm going to just take the middle part off of the, the legs and just use the middle part for, as my frame because I like it. I like these plastic bits. Um, I just, I'm, I'm not sure if I like these legs, this contraption. So we'll see. But anyway, that's it for now. This video is a bit of a hot mess, but this is what happens because I'm having a really hard time finding the time to do the, the video um, for this, and I really want to. Um, there's a, all these videos I'd like to do, and I just can't seem to find the time to be alone <laughs> and not be interrupted all the time um, or to not be busy. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you didn't mind him too much. And um, I'll keep stitching and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So I will see you next month if I don't get another video out before then. And happy stitching.